being an athlete and getting to meet such, an, such a great athlete, that's an inspiration there. It felt, it felt unreal when I got to shake his hand. Ladies and gentlemen, join me in a round of applause for the newest college football Hall of Famer, UNO legend Marlon Briscoe. The fact that he was the uh, first starting African-American quarterback in the NFL, that's a, that's a great fact, and how he had to work hard from his, his upbringings and all his challenges he had to overcome to be who he, who he is today. To be the first recipient of the Monty Briscoe Scholarship, that's a great honor. I'm proud of it. He had a, he had a strong grip, yeah. When I shook his hand, yeah, that was a strong grip. I, I try to shake it, I try to get a strong grip back, but... <laughs> Uh, growing up uh, in Kenya up until the age of 10 and I, I moved to the United States, it was a huge transition and culture shock. When I first got here, I went to a football tryout thinking that it was a soccer tryout. When I got there, I saw this oval-shaped ball and I just started crying. I was like, oh man, I can't deal with this place. I just want to go back to Kenya already. <laughs> I love everything about soccer. The running, the scoring goals, the backflip celebrations, everything. You know, I have a lot of people to thank uh, for this journey, for this night, uh, for the many years that led up to this night. I couldn't have done it without Omaha, Nebraska. Uh, I grew up in the same neighborhood as Marlon. So I went to the same high school as he did, and I'm also going to the same university as he did. That's really cool. He told me to keep it up. He said, um, be a leader of today and a leader of tomorrow. I can't believe I got to meet somebody like Marlon Briscoe. It's, it's a great honor and pleasure. It's, it was an event that I'll never forget for the rest of my life. It inspired me very much, and um, I just want to keep uh, pushing and keep moving forward from here on. Marlon Briscoe makes the whole city of Omaha very proud. We're very honored and proud to have such a person, such a historic figure not only in African-American history, but in the history of Omaha overall. To Marlon and all the donors, thank you, this means so much.